Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, December 11, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis for the commodities market and the precious metal market, which basically means it's a full analysis of all the commodities that are available on eToro. The link is down below. So as you can see, yesterday I said that we were trying to rally in the US dollar index, but this was not a very encouraging um, sign for a rally. This is basically a rally. This is not. So this is just basically, <laughs> what do you to say this? It's not, not technically a rally. It was completely expected for this market to break down. And we basically broke down today. So this um, had most commodities um, basically going significantly higher today, 2-3%. Um, so at this stage, I think that we're going to break these lows as well. It is a, basically a setup at this stage to go significantly lower. And that will have a major effect on oil, on gold, on, uh, for example, the NASDAQ, which will most likely uh, be um, significantly affected by this move to the downside. But we didn't even get close to the 20 exponential. And if that is the case, then down we are going. So let's look at oil. We can see that we have rallied significantly today. We went all the way to 47.72 before breaking down to 46.92. At this point, pullbacks are buying opportunity. We are trending upwards and we have been trading upwards for quite some time. There's technically no reason for, for this uptrend. Uh, the demand in the world economy certainly is not there, uh, neither in Europe or in the United States for the demand for oil is significantly down. It is, of course, up uh, slightly in Asia, uh, but two of the major uh, blocks, economy blocks, are um, really hurting of the coronavirus. And, uh, and, of course, demand is not as high as it used to be. So... We are pressuring this price, uh, this uh, commodity higher, and the target at this point is probably $15 a barrel. So, um, yes, this is the target. Pullbacks towards the 20 exponential are to be bought into at this stage. Um, we'll most likely find major uh, support here at 46.69. And if we fall further from that, then here at 44.88 should be absolutely enormous um, support. So pullbacks towards this area here are major buying opportunities. So let's look at natural gas. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly. We were up nearly 4%, 4-5% today, and um, it was not completely uh, unexpected as i said yesterday this could have rallied to the upside or it could have basically broken to the downside and therefore it was basically 50 50 and that is not a really good uh, probability basically to make a trade you should basically um, have a much better probability on your side if you want to be right so I don't think that we're going to break the 20 exponential. I think we're just rallying up towards the 20. We are going to see this um, turn around here and then head towards the 200 moving average. And until we get to that level at 2.24, something like that, then there is the real buying opportunity for this market. Um, we are. It's Friday tomorrow, so I have no interest in basically holding this over the weekend. So... I most likely will not be trading this at all. So let's look at gold. So gold is now trading underneath the 20 exponential. We have, um, this is not a very encouraging uh, candlestick here. 
If you look at technical indicators also for gold, they are looking more bearish at this stage. So we may head towards the 200 moving average and then rally from there. Um, I don't think that we're going to see something similar to this, that we break the 20, 200 moving average, because I think that we're just going to see a lot of choppiness up and down for the foreseeable future. We are most likely uh, going to have this major resistance line that is going to be tested at some point. And uh, we most likely will also have this major support line be, suppressed, uh, be uh, tested at some point. So we are just going to stay within this area for the foreseeable future. But at some point, we are going to rally above this significant uh, resistance line. And then we are going to head to 1900. We're going to head to 2000. We're also going to head to 2100. But we're talking about weeks and not days, certainly not hours. So in the long run, this is going to go higher. We are still in uptrend. We did have a major pullback here, but it is a pullback. We're, we're still in an uptrend in this market. So at this point, the lower that we get, the closer that we get to this um, support line, the buy, better the buying opportunity in my view. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.